Hey, what's going on, everyone? Bass here. So with the deadline being today, the Packers have finally decided to activate David Bakhtiari from the physically unable to perform list to their 53-man roster. So the Green Bay Packers had until 3 p.m. today to activate David Bakhtiari, and if they hadn't activated him, then he would revert back to IR and basically be done for the entire year. Now, although he has activated to the 53, he could still technically be out this week versus Seattle. That doesn't mean it's a guarantee that he's going to play, but we'll see what Green Bay does. As of today, it's been a total of 314 days since he tore his ACL last year and just over 10 months since he had his ACL surgery and recovery usually sits in between that 9 and 12 month spot so he's right in the sweet zone so David Bakhtiari has been practicing with the team ever since he's been able to on October 20th he's been practicing ever since and progressing well and I think it's kind of just been a thing of the Packers never wanting to rush him back making sure he gets to 100% and I agree a lot of us have been wondering uh, when is David Bakhtiari returning when is David Bakhtiari returning but I 100% agree with the Packers approach. Get him back to 100% and make sure no future setbacks happen. So then this begs the question, what will the Packers do with the rest of their offensive line? So obviously Elton Jenkins has been filling in there at left tackle and might I note, doing a wonderful job at it. But when David Bakhtiari returns, they're going to have to move Elton Jenkins somewhere else. Now, Elton Jenkins can pretty much play anywhere on the offensive line, as we know. But with Josh Myers out, and technically Josh Myers can return this week on that from that short-term IR, but there hasn't really been an update on him, so who knows at this point. But with Josh Myers being out, you ask the question, are they going to put Elton Jenkins at center? Now, Lucas Patrick has been filling in at center, and, and although he's been playing okay, except for last week, um, Elton Jenkins is definitely the better center. Now, Elton Jenkins is a natural left guard, but it kind of still begs the question, are the Packers going to move Elton to center until Josh Myers comes back? And if that's the case, then they still have to decide, well, do you still want Lucas Patrick in there? Because Royce Newman just hasn't been playing good. Last week was definitely his worst week. Him and Patrick didn't play good, but Newman was definitely worse. I think he gave up six pressures last week. I think Newman and Patrick gave up 64% of the pressures on Jordan Love. But Newman really hasn't looked good all year. He had a decent game in Cincinnati, and he had a really strong start, start in the preseason, but he just, again, hasn't looked good all year. John Runyon has been the better guard. So the Packers could actually put Elton Jenkins at center and then move Lucas Patrick to his natural spot at right guard. But if they don't do that and then keep Royce Newman there at right guard, that decision will just have to be prolonged just for another week or two or whenever Josh Myers returns because once Josh Myers returns, that means Elton Jenkins is going to go back to one of the guard spots. And then at that point, you 100% have to bench either Royce Newman or John Runyon and to put it simply, John Runyon has played a lot better than Royce Newman this year. John Runyon had a wonderful game last week, although there was a lot of pressure on Jordan Love. But John Runyon has just simply played better than Royce Newman. So if it was my choice, I think Runyon definitely gets the nod over Newman. But at the end of the day, we'll see what they decide. But it's finally nice to start seeing this offensive line come to full health. You know, the whole year, they've kind of just mix and match the entire offensive line, and they've done a pretty damn good job at it. But with being without the best left tackle in the league all year is definitely going to hurt you. Being without, you know, your second string left tackle, Elton Jenkins is out for three games. Josh Nyman had to come in and fill in, and he did a pretty good job. So this 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 Packers offensive line is just, like I said, been mix and match, and I'm so glad it's finally starting to become fully healthy. I can't wait to see this offensive line fully healthy sitting in there to block for Aaron Rodgers. But that about does it for today's video. If you aren't subscribed already, please go down and click that subscribe button and also like the video. I put out constant Packers news analysis and updates, so definitely go click that subscribe button below. But on that note, I'll catch you on the next one. As always, go Pack Go!